Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at some input validation along with our while loop structure. So what I have here is a program that asks the user how old they are and we get their age in from the keyboard and then based on the number that they input we give a custom message back out to them. And then we're asking them if they want to go again, if they want to put in another number. And if that's the case, if they say yes, then it's going to start this whole loop again and ask them for their age. So just to give you a quick run through, if I put in a number that's 18, it says congratulations, do you want to run the program again? So if I say yes, and I can put in another number, I get a different message based on the age that I put in. And if I put in anything other than a Y, then it's going to end the program. Now if I run this again, and this time I put in something, like maybe I got mixed up here, and I type in a Y for how old I am, then you notice here that the program is going haywire. It's just an endless loop running over and over and over again. And that is because age is supposed to be an integer and I'm putting in the wrong type of data. So it's a type mismatch. So when it gets through this loop and goes to run it again and check these out, it just doesn't know how to handle that wrong kind of data entry. So what we want to do is build into this a way of checking to make sure that this is actually an integer. And I want it to keep looping through, putting in a number until it actually is a number and it is valid. So I'm going to use another while loop within this while loop. So I'm going to say while, and my condition check here is going to be not C in age. So I'm just going to grab this and move it up. And I need another parentheses here. So while not C in age. So C in age, age is set up to be an integer. So if it's not, right, the exclamation point not, if this is not an integer type, then we're going to have some statements in here. So what I'll do is take this line and I'm going to put it in where these statements are. And get rid of that semicolon. All right, now let's run and test this and see what happens. And I have a blank screen. So why do we have a blank screen? Well, it's because when this while loop, it hasn't gotten into this point yet. It's stopping for age and we haven't given the user a message. So I'm going to take this see out statement and move it before the while loop. And then instead of having this same message here, while it's not, we'll say, must be a number, right? So we have to display this before we can get to the CN age. Otherwise, it's just stopping here and waiting for the user to type something in. So let's run it. Now we get our message, how old are you? And I'll put in something that is not a number. And now it's a must be a number, but it's going wild again. So it's going over and over and over again into an endless loop. So why is that happening? Well, we have, when we have input failure, right? I put, a num put something in that wasn't an integer. So this starts a loop. It starts a while loop to keep going over and over and over again. But once this happens, age has the value that I typed in at the keyboard, which is the wrong data type. So there's nothing in here that's clearing that out or changing what's in the age variable. So I must have a number in there. And then what I need to do is come in and we have an input stream fail state, right? Our data doesn't match the variable type that we're using. So our input stream has entered a fail state. So once in a fail state, any other statements, input output statements that are using that stream are ignored. And so the program continues to execute with whatever values are already stored in that variable. And so this causes this loop 
to continue. So to fix that, we need to clear out whatever is in the input stream. So we're going to say CN clear, and that will clear out and restore the input stream back to a working state. And then we want to drop and discard whatever is in there that's in the CN object. So we're going to say CN ignore. Now CN ignore will ignore one character, but we don't really know how many characters the user might have typed in. So we can put in, I'm just going to put up to 100 because I doubt whether they would do more than 100 in this particular program. And the other argument that I can put in there is up until a new line character. So the way this reads is in the CN object, it's going to clear it and restore it back to a working state. And then CN ignore whatever is in the CN object. We're going to tell it to ignore up to 100 characters or until it reaches a new line character. And the new line character is where the user has pressed enter. So let's try running this again. And we'll put in something again that is not a number. And now it says must be a number. So I'm putting in everything that's not a number. And then when I do put in a number, then it does exit this while loop and then continue down with the rest of our program, which now has valid information in the age variable, and then it can continue doing its condition checks. So this is using a while loop in order to validate the data that's coming in from the CN object and checking to make sure that it is the right match for the data type. And if it's not, we give the user a message and then we clear out whatever is in that and restore the input stream and then drop and ignore any content that's in the CN object already.